And here we go again. Welcome back, everybody. This is day 57 of our daily Bible reading, chronologically. And today we're going to just read Numbers chapter 7. Numbers chapter 7. Offerings from the leaders. Chapter 7. <laughs> On the day Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed and consecrated it and all its furnishings along with the altar and all its utensils. After he anointed and consecrated these things, the leaders of Israel, the heads of their ancestral families, presented an offering. They were the tribal leaders who supervised the registration. They brought as their offering before the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart from every two leaders and an ox from each one and presented them in front of the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these from them to be used in the work of the tent of meeting, and give this offering to the Levites, to each division according to their service. So Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave the Gershonites two carts and four oxen, corresponding to their service, and gave the Merorites four carts and eight oxen, corresponding to their service, under the direction of Itamar, son of Aaron the priest. But he did not give any to the Kohathites, since their responsibility was service related to the holy objects carried on their shoulders. The leaders also presented the dedication gift for the altar when it was anointed. The leaders presented their offerings in front of the altar. The Lord told Moses, Each day have one leader present his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who presented his offering on the first day was Nashon, son of Aminadab, from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three-quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Nashon, son of Aminadab. On the second day, Netanel, son of Zuar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. As his offering, he presented one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil, for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Netanel, son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helon, leader of the Zebulonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elisur, son of Shedur, leader of the Reubenites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds 
and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Elisur, son of Shedur. On the fifth day, Shelumiel, son of Zurishadai, leader of the Simeonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds, and one silver basin, weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Shelumiel, son of Zurishadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, leader of the Gadites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds, and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, excuse me, Elishama, son of Am, uh, Amihud, leader of the Ephraimites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil, for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Aminihud, or Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedasur, leader of the Manassites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pedasur. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideoni, Gideoni, leader of the Benjaminites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil, for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, 
and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Avidan, son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, uh, I believe that's Ahiezer, son of Amishadai, the leader of the Danites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Ahiezar, son of Meshadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, son of Okran, leader of the Asherites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Pagiel, son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enon, leader of the Naphtalites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Enon. This was the dedication gift from the leaders of Israel from the alt for the altar when it was anointed. Twelve silver dishes, twelve silver basins, and twelve gold bowls. Each silver dish weighed three and a quarter pounds, and each basin one and three quarter pounds. The total weight of the silver articles was sixty pounds measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. The twelve gold bowls full of incense each weighed four ounces, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. The total weight of the gold bowls was three pounds. All the livestock for the burnt offering totaled twelve bulls, twelve rams, and twelve male lambs a year old, with their grain offerings, and twelve male goats for the sin offering. All the livestock for the fellowship sacrifice totaled 24 bulls, 60 rams, 60 male goats, and 60 male lambs a year old. This was the dedication gift for the altar after it was anointed. When Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the Ark of the Testimony from between the two cherubim. He spoke to him that way. May the Lord bless the reading and study of his word.